Michael Jenkin here with MMAinterviews.tv with the successful and undefeated Ernest Chavez. What a knockout. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I didn't, like I said uh, before uh, to other friends and everything, I didn't expect it to be that sh uh, short. I expected for a long, drawn out fight with a gritty uh, opponent, but uh, thank God that guy was, you know, thank God he came in, I got a hit, and then went for the finish. Yeah, I mean, on paper, this was supposed to be a, a secure three round fight. You guys both go the distance, you both grind it out, you put a lot of pressure on each other. And it's supposed to be a close fight. You come out, you hit him early. How surprised were you to hit him and then to see the guy fall? Um, yeah, and I was very surprised actually because in his previous fights he took several hits, and he was someone that kept moving and didn't easily get put out. So I think it was just a uh, just you know in a, in a way luck and a way skill, you know. So I think it just came at the right moment. He was a little dazed, and then uh, I think just I, I couldn't I couldn't even explain it. it just it, it just it lined up, you know. So. Uh, I'm happy about that, but yeah, it was surprising to say the least. Well, set it up a little. You guys are filling each other out some. What was the one that really hit him that put him down? Because you landed a few in a row, and then from my vantage point, it was hard to see. But what did you hit that really hurt him that put him uh, down? I knew that he, uh, looking at his tapes, that he, uh, when every time he threw like a cross, he 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 had a certain counter to it. He he blocked up and did a certain counter. So I tried to do a lot of feints, and then when he would come in just a little, I would I would pull back and throw a hook, and I hit I hit it early on in the in the match, and I thought okay. It's working, so I kept on doing it. And he kept on being susceptible to it, and I think a little bit of, like I'm not gonna say fear, but uh, he was apprehensive after a while. And then, so I kept on doing it. And I knew I was gonna be able to set up a cross, a hook, a uppercut, and something else, a body shot, something from there. But he was he was just susceptible to it. His natural reaction was to give me that punch. So, yeah, uh, when once I got that set up, it just I, I kept on going for it and got more connections and eventually dazed him and went for the kill. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're not in there that long. A minute 21, you finish him off. You drop him on the floor. You hit him with the hammer fist. I'm not sure if you knocked him out and then rewoke him, but all of a sudden, after the second one, he just popped back up. But yeah. by then, John McCarthy had stepped in. Yeah, I want to say, and I'm not trying to take. I think he went stiff, just uh, like half a second. It was just a hit. He kind of went stiff, and then when I went down, I came with the second one. Before I even hit him again, I saw him just jump up. It seems like he just like kind of like woke up out of sleep, just real quick. So I'm, you know, I never really been knocked out, but I'm pretty sure I've seen it in other fights and stuff that it seems like they're out just for a quick moment and then they come back real quick, like with Fury. And I think that's what happened. Uh, he was out for a mere moment. And John McCarthy saw that. Yeah. Well, obviously, impressive performance, but let's talk about how you got there. What are we doing training-wise? Who are you training with? Give some love to some people out there. Oh, uh, OC Boxing and Fitness. I've been my coach, Clay Gaines. I've been working with him for, I don't know, eight years now. Uh, he's been touching up my hands, and this is the first time I was really actually there to, to display my, my skills and have confidence in them. Uh, Juliano Prado, Nazal, Baeda, uh, they've been working on my jiu-jitsu and keeping me constantly evolving. Even though I'm, I'm a wrestler, I come from that kind of background, they never let me just get in the comfort zone. They always put me in the worst positions and, and, and work on different techniques that I don't even like, but they do that to evolve me, and I really appreciate them. Um, you know, my management, get down, promote, uh, get down management, they've been helping me out a lot, getting fights for me, lining up some sponsors and stuff like that. Uh, more notably, my training partners, Christian Aguilera has been there my whole camp, really appreciate him. Jason Williams helping me as well with stand-up. Um, uh, Hector Carrillo with my wrestling, uh, C. Bass Lopez helping me with my kicks, and, and so on. I know I didn't get to play a lot of things, but, um, you know, because I was able to do all those kind of methods and, and get, put myself in these bad positions at all times with new guys, every time fresh guys, uh, they allowed my confidence to go up and I was able to to perform at my peak. Well, obviously you can see that this is a much improved performance. Your stand-up game was impressive. You are able to knock a guy out. You're now 6-0, and no injuries. When would you like to get back in? Would you like to be back with Bama? I mean, what would you like to do next? Uh, I, I want to fight as soon as possible. If Bama wants to do a fight next week, then I'm there. You know, uh, they're, they're are the best promotion. they are the best promotion in California. It took me five wins to get to, this, to the stage at least. So I'm willing to, you know, as long as they're willing to have me, I'm willing to, to take any fight they're willing to give. Well, keep a lookout for Ernest Chavez, the ever impressive and still undefeated at 6-0. I'm Michael Jenkins. This is Ernest Chavez. You're watching MMAinterviews.tv.